اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین الصلاة والسلام علی رسول الكریم نبینا محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم خاتم الانبیاء والمرسلین رب شرح لی صدری ویسر لی عمری وحل الاکتتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی My very very dear and respectable Quran course fellows Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I welcome you all to lesson number 12A. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. And I congratulate you for the wonderful results in your mid-quiz. I'm sure you're all very happy, motivated, uh, with more energies and passion to learn the words of Allah and Quran, its meanings. Uh, those who have achieved very high scores and results, especially, uh, I would like to acknowledge our brother Abdul Aziz Mahmood, uh, Bamimur Musa, Sadaf Hamirani, Idris Kudrut, Kudrut uh, for securing full marks. And I would also like to acknowledge Sister Fatima Mahmood, uh, Jai. I'm sorry, please, uh, my apologies for my wrong pronunciations. Uh, Sister Habiba, Sawabiha Baksu, Buhari Bello, Khadija Omar, and Brother Faisal Nisar. Uh, of course, they, they were the ones who had uh, very high uh, scores, but even if you have scored 10 or 5, and for that matter, even 1, you must be happy and I congratulate you that we are better than yesterday. We are better than what we were before doing this course. So Alhamdulillah, uh, we are doing this course, we are learning and we are understanding and we are able to translate the words of Allah. So congratulations to all of you. And today, inshallah, moving forward on this journey, we will cover lesson number 12a, understand Al-Quran. And in this lesson, we will cover Surah Al-Falaq. And something very interesting. We are going to start Fail Mudare, the future tense, and in which we will have new actions and inshallah, new ways of doing it. So today's learning tip, and today we would cover three 13 new words which, which are which are uh, appearing in Quran 841 times. Inshallah, so our overall toll will cross 31,000 words limit okay uh, let's now come towards surah al-falaq and a little introduction of surah al-falaq and surah nas the last two, two surahs teach us the excellent prayers to protect ourselves these are called muawwazatan and the sunnah of the prophet was to recite the last three surahs once after every salah and thrice after fajr and maghrib prayer so the best way to bring them to life is to do the Sunnah way. Okay. Similarly, Hazrat Aisha anha reports that the Prophet would, before sleeping, used to blow into his hands, recite the last three surahs, then you know he'll pass on his hands over his body. Okay. So these things will keep you protected. Uh, of course, each one of us among us wants to get protection. So we should then make it a habit to recite these surahs regularly. Uh, and the minimum two benefits are we are protected and will, of course, receive the reward for following the sunnah because the Prophet of Allah would do the same thing. Now, uh, as a practice, Surah Falak will be recited for you. And you, when you are listening to its recitation, your task is to look at the word their construction, the meanings which you know, and then inshallah, I'll give you the challenge immediately after the recitation uh, of asking you a few questions about it, and then inshallah, we'll move forward with the lesson of the day. So I invite uh, Mr. Abdul Muhammad to recite Surah Al Falak. <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق 
Ama şu ama Amin. 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 Ask you first of all the meanings of kul. Say. Kul. So you, you, you are going to respond to me in the chat box. Alhamdulillah, you know the meanings of kul. Everybody knows it. We have done it. Alhamdulillah, auzu. Do you know the meanings of auzu? MashaAllah, Sister Sawabiha is the first one to respond. I seek refuge. We did it when we did the ta'abuz right in the beginning of the course. A'abuzu billahi min shaitan rajim And in that ta'abuz, we also got to know about the, the parts of the billah. So how many parts of birabbi? How many parts of birabbi? Two parts. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. And According to grammar, what is al falak? Is it ism, fail, or harf? Is it a noun, a verb, or a preposition? Excellent, mashallah. So we are all clear and we're all sure and we know that al falak is, is a noun. Hey. Mashallah. So very good. Now, what does it tell us? There is, there is, there is, a, uh, I want to congratulate all of you that you see, we are still at only lesson number 12. But if you look at this ayah of Surah Falak, you know it all, all Alhamdulillah. You know the translation of 75% of the words. You gave me the translation of Kul, Auz, and Birabbi. You know that. And more than that is you even understand the construction of the words. So you were able to break down Birabbi and you know Al Falak is, a, is an ism. Although we have not done its translation earlier, but you understand what it is according to the grammar. So Alhamdulillah, that's, that's how this course is helping us to learn fast and quick and understand their, uh, you know, not only the translation, but much more than that. So now let's look at these words. You already know them. Kul is say. Kul is say. Appears in Quran 332 times. It means it is there in Quran many, many times. So you have to open Quran. You have to find it out. And whenever you see, see, see Kul in it, you will know the meanings. And it is always good whenever in a lesson you are learning a new word, Please try to find it in, in the Quran and this will make it make the meanings more sustainable in your memory. So kul say. We have already done kul huwallahu ahad. Auzu. So you did it in the tab was I take refuge, I seek refuge. Billahi. Earlier we did billahi in Allah. Here we are doing auzu. So in the Lord, Rabb. You know, and we have done in detail the meanings of Rabb. Al Falak. Al Falak is the new word here, which means the daybreak, dawn, early morning time, the daybreak. Now, we are saying Kul Auz Birabbil Falak is translated as say, I seek refuge in the Lord of the daybreak. In the Lord of the daybreak. Now, a beautiful ayah. And it has, it has a powerful message for all of us. You see, we are all surrounded by the evil attacks, day and night, from the viruses, from the mischief makers, shaitan, jealous people. There's so much of evil all around us. So with all that being around us, Allah is the rub of the daybreak. The moment the day begins, we are saying, Kul we are coming under his refuge, okay, under his protection. Now, when you are saying this, 
how should you say this falak is not an ordinary word you just say it out okay i know the meaning is the daybreak but to understand and to have a deeper involvement in saying qul a'udhu bi rabbil falak you need to understand the day break the phenomena of how the day breaks look at the sun the source of daylight its diameter is huge 1.5 million kilometers and it is 150 million kilometers away 150 million kilometers but in but imagine look see how allah rotates the earth with its circumference of 40000 kilometers around the sun to bring out the day you know it's so beautiful how the day comes and then realize the greatness of your lord and it is happening for years and years and thousands and hundreds and millions of years and it will keep happening until allah wills so this beautiful system of bringing a new day to us must remind us of allah's powers and his greatness and with that then we should say qul a'uzu bi rabbil falak day break the one who brings it so allah brings out the day from the darkness of the night similarly allah can remove from us the darkness of the evil the darkness of our heart he can only help us out so qul a'uzu bi rabbil falak i am coming under the refuge of that lord who is so great so this is the beauty of the verse qul a'uzu bi rabbil falak it begins with say which means we should recite this surah as well as convey to the others you know with wisdom and kindness in a very nicer way help people learn you know there are there are solutions for all of our problems in quran so quran gives us the ways and means and formula to save ourselves from any evil you know so and the prophet has also given us the method as he did so we should use the same method to save ourselves so say it out now with that feeling and imagination that allah is the lord of the day break and we are seeking his refuge الحمد لله من شر ما خلق من شر ما خلق you all know the meanings of min what are the meanings of min this also we did it in the beginning a'uz billahi min ash shaitan ar rajim min yeah now these these must be our confirmed uh learnings min shar 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 is the evil that which gives you pain that which gives you difficulty that which gives you uh, uh you know trouble is shar so we are saying min sharri you know the the example it we have learned it from auz billahi minash shaitan rajim but remember never confuse the two min and man these are two different words min from man has two meanings man comes as a question word who and man comes as a joining word okay so if i say man huwa who is he if i say uh, he is the one who so these are the two uses of who similarly the man has two uses okay uh, to to better remember it you remember this word this question which we will be asked in the grave the first two questions man rabbuka what would you answer to it man rabbuka each one of us alhamdulillah with that's an additional benefit of the course we know the answer of this question in arabic we all can respond in arabic inshallah and will respond and inshallah that will become a source of uh, you know sort of uh, for us a blessing for us that we try to learn the allah's words and the language of quran so we know man rabbuka rabbi allah or allah rabbi okay 
And do you also know the answer of the second question, Madhinu ka? Madhinu ka. MashaAllah. Al Islam Dini or Diniyal Diniyal Islam. So both are okay. Dini, my Din is Islam. So similarly, Man Rabbuka, Rabbi Allah, my Rabb is Allah. Okay. So Alhamdulillah. When the angels will ask us, we will respond, and we'll respond with with uh, uh, you know fluency. Man Rabbuka, Rabbi Allah, my Diniyal Dini Islam. So now you know the meaning, the difference between min and man. So now let's come back to the shar. Shar is the evil, suffering, anything which directly or cause, even if it happens to be good, is a shar. You know, if something which appears to be good, but it ultimately uh, give us a suffering or pain or difficulty is, of course, a shar for us. So we are saying, min shari, from all the evil, ma, that which is. You know the ma, the meanings of ma are also, the one meaning you have just learned, ma dinuka. What is your religion? Question word. And ma has a meaning connecting what. So this what here is a connecting one, that which is, that what is. Okay. So ma has the third meaning also. Do you know that? The three meanings of ma. Who will tell me? Let's see who answered it first. Excellent. So Brother Faisal says it has a meaning of no, that, and what. So it is a question word. It uh, responds, responds in negative, and it is a connecting word. OK? So here, look at the context. Now, the context itself tells us which meanings are being used here. Min sharri ma khalaka. Now, here is another other lesson for all of us. Khalaka. Now, as per Arabic reading principle, when we say min sharri ma khalaq, we stop here. We do not say the last uh, uh, sound. Okay. So, but when you have to do the translation, you must pronounce it fully, read it fully to understand which word is it. So, khalaka, you can tell me now, what is khalaka? Kism, fil, or harf? Excellent, mashallah. You have learned it. Khalaka, he created. You know, you have done the entire thing. Khalaka, khalaku, khalakta, khalaktu, khalaktum, khalakna. So, this is a fail. We know it, but so so to to translate, you must know the complete word. It is khalaka, okay? So min sharri ma khalaka. So we are saying kula auzu bi rabbil falak. Oh, yazuni from the rab of the day break of the day break from all that he has created, all the evil which has been created. So. Uh, now, there, there is something interesting for all of you, how the slang words help you to manage things. The same word ma can be used in Arabic world for people like us who doesn't know Arabic, but can go there and just use fi ma fi. So, so, so you see this ma can be used in both ways. The question, if you are asking somebody, you say ma fi. And if you want to say no, ma fi. So, so simple, the same ma in a different way would mean differently. So just the change of expression would change the meanings of ma. Anyways, so ma fi, not no, and ma dinuka, what is your deen or religion? The two meanings. Khalaka, he created. So khalik is the creator. Khalaka, he created. You know it from the table, so I don't need to uh, repeat it much. Shar has two meanings, evil and suffering. So some evil things appear to be good, but their end is suffering. Therefore, they are also evil. We ask Allah's protection from the evil of whatever he has created, from the evil of his creations. So Allah has created human, human beings to worship Allah, to do good, 
But what do they do? They keep on hurting each other. So we are seeking Allah's protection. So we ask Allah to protect us from the evil of such persons and all whatever he has created. So we ask his evil from all living, non-living things. You know, at times there is just a stone on your way and you, 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 know, you strike it and you might, uh, you know, get injured or be in problem. So all what, all what Allah has created, whether living or non-living things. Min sharri ma khalaq. Now, beginning of the surah uh, and this ayah, it covers everything, whatever Allah has created. But surah brings three special things here. So, you know, despite having covered everything in the first two ayahs, there is something special about these three things which have been covered specially in the coming ayahs of the surah. What are these things? Wamin sharri ghasik, wamin sharri nafathat, wamin sharri hasid. Ghasik is darkness, nafathat is magicians, hasid is the envious, the jealous person. Okay? Now look at them one by one. Actually, these three things are very dangerous. And especially in these days, these times where we are living, uh, they're all around us. You know, we, we are encircled by these darkness. Whenever there is night, we get into the wrong things. Um, then magic is becoming a problem in our societies. People are doing it for their nefarious and you know, evil means. Uh, they are jealous of us. So to save ourselves, uh, Allah has given us this beautiful formula. So, and another problem with these three things is we don't get to know what harm is on our way. If somebody is doing a magic on you, you don't know. If somebody is becoming envious of you, you don't know. And that, as the night falls, you know, as a routine matter, we start looking, we are free and we start looking and doing the evil things. So, Ghasik in darkness. Nafasar by magicians. Hasid by a jealous person. Only Allah can save us from all these three. So let's look at them one by one. Wamin sharri ghasikin iza waqab. Wamin sharri and from the evil of ghasik. Ghasik, darkness. What is ghasik? Is some failure harf? Yeah, it's noun, ism. Okay, so Mamin Sharakasik from the darkness, Iza Wakaba. Is an Iza means when. Is an Iza means when. They appear in Quran more than 600 times. Is an Iza when. Iza Wakaba. Now, Wakaba is like you know, you are studying these afal, for example, you have just studied a khalaqa. So, wakaba means also uh, became intense. It's a past expression. Okay? But because of iza, we are translating it into a mudari expression. It becomes intense. Iza wakaba. So, the fail in itself remains, the verb remains the same past expression, but its translation is in mudari, okay, in present or in future expression. So, and from the evil of darkness, when it becomes intense. Okay, so darkness, you know, after 12 hours, the night falls, we are free and we start looking you know, devil also comes in action as the night falls. Because as, as they say, you know, an empty man's brain is a devil's workshop. So devil starts coming and giving us wrong ideas and starts putting us into the, you know, uh, immoral acts at, at nighttime, start looking at TV programs, ent entertainment industry, evil parties, evil movies and other evils. Start with the start of the night. 
So even for the thieves and enemies, it's easy to attack at the night. So staying awake late is also evil because it becomes difficult to get up for Fajr. So extremely harmful for the health too. So we, what do we do is we miss upon the excellent opportunities of morning work. So specially protection has been sought against darkness and then against nafasat. And you will from nafasa. Nafasa is singular with circular ta. And nafasat is the plural. Before saying nafasa, you have to blow to say it. So these are the blowers, magicians. Okay. Nafasa, the one who blows, that is the one way of doing magic. So we translate it as magician. Okay. Though generally it looks like feminine magicians, but nafasa, the plural includes all types of magicians, both uh, male, female. So women share nafasati fil uqad. When they blow, where? Fil uqad, in the knots. Uqda is singular for knot. Uqad is the plural for knots. Now here, See, this is another type of making plurals. Ukda is also with circular, circular ta, but we are not making it ukdaat. So in Arabic, keep this option open in your mind. It is not always the same way. So ukda, ukad, ukad in the knots. That is actually one way of doing the magic. Fill ukad in the knots. We also uh, use it in, you know, ak, akdun nikah, which is uh, uh, nuptial knot. Okay. The, the knot of the marriage is called akdun, akdun nikah. So now magic or we know is a big test from Allah. If the one who is affected by the magic doesn't have a strong faith in Allah, we normally get to the wrong sides, start committing shirk, and people start doing un-Islamic practices to find the solutions. They go to such um, fake people who will misguide them and they will take benefit from them. At times, people will lose their money, their health and everything, and above all, their faith in Allah. So rather than going to all these people and you know, in some families, when the relations are not good, people are scared of visiting relatives. They believe they are doing magic and there are other evil things being done. This surah is the best cure for all such problems. Wherever you are doubtful, say, And save yourself. Okay. So, there is another enemy who is with us every day, every night, and the Prophet has warned us about him. As the Prophet said, when any one of you sleeps, Shaitan ties three knots at the back of his neck here. He recites his incantations at every knot. So, and says, you have a long night to sleep. If he awakes and remembers Allah, let's say you get up in the morning and you say, Alhamdulillah, so you take Allah's name, one knot is open. You get up and you perform your ablution or wudu, the second knot is open. You offer your prayer, the third knot is open. The day is going to be great for you. So you will begin morning in a happy and a fresh mood. Otherwise, You'll get up in a bad spirits and sluggish state and the whole day will be spoiled. So if you stay awake late, you give a big chance to shaitan to make you sleep and miss fajr. So may Allah give us and help us to offer our fajr prayer on time. Wamin sharran nafasati filuqad. This was the second one of the three mentioned in the surah. Third is another very dangerous and a daily common phenomena, an issue and a problem with all of us 
which is of envy. It is from the evil of the envious hasid. When is a hasada? Hasid is the envier, and is a hasada? Hasada is the same. He envied. It's a past expression, but because of is and is a, it becomes a mudar expression here when he envies. Hasada was envied. Is a hasada when he envies. So the third one, Mamin Shari Hasidin is a hasad. From the evil of the envious when he envies. From the jealous when he start being jealous. So uh, now remember this formula. Izaja, you remember we did it in the uh, Izaja when he come, when it comes, is a wakaba when it intensifies, is a hasada when he envies. Is a Allah when Allah is remembered. So the third one is about the, you know, when somebody receives something good, a jealous person wishes that, you know, you should be losing it or he should get it. So if, you know, they, they would be so jealous if, if you don't get it, at least, I mean, if the, that person doesn't get it, you should lose it. He'll try to destroy your reputation, work, property, or hurt you. And that jealousy is very common at offices, in personal lives, in families, with relatives, with neighbors, unfortunately. So how could you save yourself from that? You know, it's happening all around us. Best way is to seek Allah's protection. Pray to Allah. That, and then... Let's not be jealous. Why are we jealous of people? You know, if Allah can give somebody else a lot, we should also seek from Allah. He can give us. Allah is not like a human being. who You know, he'll give away and we'll finish off all of uh, his, uh, you know, wealth. Allah has unlimited wealth. If he can give somebody else, he can give you. So rather than being jealous, ask Allah, Oh Allah, you have given him, you have given him, give me also. Okay. So if you feel you're getting jealous, say, Billah. And rather to train yourself, start praying for that person. Oh Allah, save him from my, uh, you know, envy. Say, oh Allah, give him more, give me also. So inshallah, you will also get. And so the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, beware of envy, because envy consumes the virtues just as the fire consumes the firewood. You know, as the wood burns in the fire, this is how the envy burns our good deeds. May Allah save us all. Mamin Shadi Hasidin is a Hasad. Okay. So Alhamdulillah. We have completed Surah. Uh, if there are any questions, the most welcome. Otherwise, we'll take the grammar. Someone is Anyways, okay. Today is a very special day. We are going to do actions. Okay, let me mute it to save everybody from the noise. Okay. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim In this part, you know, we do the grammar. This is your time to show your skills. And today is a very special day. We have something interesting, something new. We are starting fail mudari. Okay. You've been doing up till now all the actions for the fail mazi. 
but today inshallah we'll start the fail mudare we will use the tpi method and tpi is please everybody do with me hear it see it think it say it show it love it do it together so we do it together to learn quran we have already covered ism fail harf in ism we know it is noun name of someone or attribute fail is verb it tells us about an action today we have learned many fails for example give me some examples of the fails which you have learned today you you can you can write in the chat box or tell yourself loud enough okay sister habiba would like to tell us yes sister habiba i have unmuted you ha sada very good excellent or which other verbs did we do today yes khalaqa asada and you know this is a good time you you such when you do this it will inshallah help you to remember them then so all these are we even even learnt about wakaba so that was also right okay so let's move forward so we are doing fail fail is arabic language most of the words are made up of of three letters root letter so you see today hasada is also three root letters ha seen da da hasada so khalaqa khalaqa so fa'ala fataha nasara daraba which we are already doing mazi we have done mudare is the imperfect tense that which is not yet done it is being done or will be done okay that is mudare in arabic mudare is different than english in english there is present tense and future tense in arabic both are together in mudare okay how that we learn today mazi is perfect tense which we have already done fa'ala fa'alu fa'alta fa'altu fa'altum fa'alna now remember for madhi for past tense we did the actions here for the perfect tense here for mudare we will do the actions here a little higher than this was our chest level this was my chest level but now this will be my shoulder level okay above my shoulder so that we could differentiate between the uh imperfect and perfect perfect and imperfect tense okay so we did it here faala faalu faalta faaltu faaltum faalna faala he did right but now we will do inshallah the mudare but before that i would like uh, each one of you to do one by one uh, uh, repetition of the mazi tables so that when we do the mudare we do not mix them or confuse them yes so who would like to do the practice for faala first yes brother uh, ibrahim uh, faala did it faalu did it faal faalta you did faaltu i did faaltum they all did faalna we did excellent brother very good so this was for the mazi level and you know this was here the level okay yes sister rukaiya sister rukaiya also raised the hand would you like to do daraba or okay okay baraba he hit barabu they hit barabta you hit darabtu i hit darab darabtum you all hit barabna we hit mashallah so the next sister yeah do it for the samia it was i think sister alumna probably who had 
who was this sister who had raised the hand earlier? Zainab. Yeah, please do it. Sister Zainab, yeah. Samia, he listened. Samiu, they listened. Samitu, Samita, you listened. Excellent. Samitu, I listened. Samitum, you all listened. Samina, we listened. Mashallah. So excellent. We 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 have done this. Sister Saria, do you remember the Nasara table also? Oh, okay. The table is not there, but can you do it? Nasara, Nasara, Nasarta, Nasarti, Nasarna. Okay. Now, let's move forward and see today what we are going to do with the <coughs> Mudare. Mudare is the imperfect tense, that which is not done, yet being done or will be done. Now, look at its construction. That was fa'ala. This is yaf'alu. Here, yaf'alu. He does. Yaf'aluna, they do. Taf'alu, you do. Af'alu, I do. Taf'aluna, you all do. Naf'alu, we do. So this is now mudare from the mazi. Here was the mazi level. Action the same, but now here we will do the mudare level. Yaf'alu, he does. Yaf'aluna, they do. Taf'alu, you do. Af'alu, I do. Taf'aluna, you all do. Naf'alu, we do. So, yaf'alu, he does. He does. Yaf'alu. Yaf'aluna. Taf'alu, af'alu, taf'aluna. But it is not naf'alu. Remember, it is naf. Uh, it is not naf'aluna. It is naf'alu. Because there is already one uh, mm, na, noon in it. So who, who would like to practice it? Yes, Sister Saria. I, I think there is some internet connectivity issue. Let's look at, uh, let's take somebody else. So, okay, Brother Ibrahim. Uh, yes, Alu, he does. Naf Aluna, they do. Taf Alu, you do. For Af Alu, I do. Taf Aluna, they all do. Naf Alu, you all do. we do. You all, uh, Naf Aluna, you all do. Naf Aluna, you all do. Oh. Naf Alu, we do. We do, exactly. So now, the uh, I would like some more people to do it. Why not Brother Abdul Aziz Mahmoud? You topped in the quiz, so uh, you quietly keep doing good work and you top in the uh, in the quiz, but uh, you should be participating in the classes as well. Yes, Sister Jannat. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yeah, for Alu, he does. Yeah, for Aluna, they do. The for Alu, you do. Of Alu, I do. 
تفعلون you all do نفعل we do excellent yes brother الفاظ مع النبي he does يفعلون they do تفعل you do أفعل I do تفعلون you all do تفعل we do نفعلو we do excellent so now now you understand this is the mudare now let's look at the Arabic conversation of mudare so any two of you can do it uh, please come forward passionately you are learning Quran so you should be passionately coming forward raising hands to be part of the uh, conversation um, I I need two of you to do this conversation sister Jannah and uh, Dr. Aksa. Okay. Yes, Sister Janet and Dr. Aksa, you can do the. Hal yaf'alu? Naam yaf'alu? Hal yaf'aluna? Naam yaf'aluna? Now, so this was for the third person. We responded in the same way. Now, for a conversation, please do this one. Hal tafalu? Naam afalu? Hal tafaluna? Naam nafalu? Excellent. So you see, as in the past, we said hal fatahta. So we said naam fatahtu. Similarly here, hal tafalu. Naam af'alu. Hal taf'aluna, when it was plural, we are responding in the plural. Naam naf'alu. Yes, we we do. Uh, we will do. You know, mudari has both the meanings. So now to give you a comparison of and a tip for remembering uh, when you see the, the afal written in Madi and Mudari in Quran and at different places, you should to to be, to make an easy identification. Remember in Mazi, you remember we said uh, when the plane flies away, you know. So what do we see? So you all responded, we see the, what do we see? We see the, the back end of the plane. So tail end of the plane. So, so example was given to tell you that, you know, in Mazi, the changes come where? At the tail end of the afal, like this, this highlighted area, okay. See, the beginnings are same, fa, ein, lam, but at the end, these are the changes which are taking place, okay? Now, in Mudare, let's take the same example of the plane. Now, the plane is arriving, okay? It is, plane is arriving on the airport. So, what would you see if you are standing here? You will see the, front. yeah, the front. front part of the plane. So, it means... It has not arrived. It will come. It will come. It will land. It is landing. So the change is in the beginning at the front. So in Mudare, all Mudare expressions, see the changes at the front side here, this highlighted area. Yeah. See here, this one. So it is Yaf'alu, Yaf'aluna, Taf'alu, Af'alu, Taf'aluna, Naf'alu, Taf'alu. Okay, the last two written are for the uh, feminine gender. Fa'alat is for the feminine. She did. And taf'alu is for hiya taf'alu. She does. Okay. Now, so this is how we are going to add this mudare into our practice now onwards. So let's move forward and see the more mudare expressions. Okay. For the first set, very easy. For fa'ala, we said yaf'alu. For ja'ala, same, similarly, on same pattern. Yaja'alu. For fa'ala, yaf'alu. For ja'ala, yaja'alu. So similarly, let, let me give you a challenge, by the way, rather than showing you the entire table. Let me ask you, who would like to take this challenge? I think Dr. Aksa is ready. From fa'ala, I made 
yaf'alu from fa'alu yaf'aluna so what will be for yaj'alu yaj'aluna excellent 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 so you all can try by the way if you want to try with me let's see how many of you can make it yourself now from fa'ala we made taf'alu so from ja'ala what will we make ja'aflu ja'aflu here 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 ta comes first ta taj'alu 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 yeah and for plural taj'alu excellent it was taf'aluna now you can say taj'aluna okay and it was af'alu what will you say for ja'ala aj alu excellent aj alu and for plural naj alu naj alu so so you know i am so happy mashallah you are all actually developing these skills although it is very difficult in the beginning i have never given this challenge i think in the earlier classes uh, in this way but uh, very happy to see that you can do it okay so you see very simple yaf alu he does yaj alu he makes if we just uh, you know change the words the pattern is the same the sound is the same so yaf alu yaf aluna taf alu afalu taf aluna nafalu if i put it with jaala yaj alu yaj aluna taj alu aj alu taj aluna naj alu very simple same sound same pattern same uh, you know um these symbols on it so yaj alu he makes yaj aluna they make taj alu you make aj alu i make taj aluna you all make aj alu you make uh, you already have the mazi level practice ja ala ja alu ja al ta ja al tu ja al tu ja alna so now let's do the mudare practice more yes sister maryam sister maryam muhammad would you like to do the practice for mudare for yaj alu Okay, naj alu we make excellent that's beautiful so uh, who else would like to do this practice so practice is required to you know to remember them and use your your hands and your actions and these will make it more you know durable learning for you yes sister uh, sister aksa yaj alu he makes yaj aluna they make taj alu you make aj alu i make taj aluna you all make naj naj alu we make excellent sister so this is for the brother abdul hakim yaj alu he makes yaj aluna they make naj al taj al you make aj al i make taj aluna you all make naj al we make excellent brother so brother and sisters just remember the right way of saying it out is very important taj alu aj alu you know the symbols and sounds in arabic a little change will change the entire meaning of the word so that's why we have to pronounce them right and we have to know what their meanings are so let's do the arabic conversation hal yaj'alu uh who, who please raise hands for doing the arabic conversation and then i want you to make an observation here i i i'm going to ask you a little tricky question let's see who takes that challenge So first, let's see. I I need two people to do the Arabic conversation. Yes, 
Al Fosman and Professor Ibrahim. Ali Alu. Okay, I can respond to you. La Yajalu. Ali Aluna. La Yajaluna. Now my question to all of you is earlier when we when we were doing such questions, we were saying, what were we saying? Which word were we using? Naam. And naam is for yes. For, oh, for ma. 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 we were ma. using ma. ma. You remember ma, ma, ja ma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Now, here we are using la now. La. Why do you think so? I think due to, to, uh, negate, to negate it. Due to using Excellent. tense, you use it. Mashallah, great. Yes, so you see, this is the reason. Now, now this concept will stay in your mind forever. Ma we were using for mazi, okay, uh -huh. for past, and now because of mudare, we will be using la la yajalu la yajaluna. Okay, so this is this is a change you have to remember. Remember, it, it, we, we are doing the same conversation which we were doing at the past level. So no difference. It's the same. However, for saying not or no, we will use la in the mudari. La in the mudari tense. Excellent. So for homework, from fataha yaftahu. Fataha yaftahu. Anyone who takes the challenge of making the rest of the table on the pattern of yafalu, uh, yafaluna, uh, tafalu, afalu, tafaluna, nafalu for the fataha. Anyone, who, anyone who would like to take the challenge? Okay, I think it might be difficult. So no problem. You can learn it as a homework. Yaftahu. Okay, Dr. Aksa was ready to take the challenge. All right, Dr. Aksa, we give you the challenge. No, no, but I think I'll do it in work. Oh, I can do it. Yaftahu, he opens. Yaftahuna, they open. Naftahu, you open. Aftahu, I open. Taftahuna, you all open. Naftahu, we open. Excellent, mashallah. So you see, that's that is the benefit. Once you develop the skill, you can try making it yourself. Okay, and you don't even need to put lots of pressure on your brain to memorize and do it. Uh, so it's just little skill formula. Once you have learned the formula, you can make any table with it. So Alhamdulillah, let's come to the last thing of the day. Learning tip for today is use your years for learning Quran because listening is extremely important. You know, in Quran, Allah says, وَجَعَلَ لَكُمُ السَّمْعَ وَالْعَبْسَارَ وَالْعَفْئِدَ so the first thing which is mentioned in Quran, which Allah made when the human uh, shape was being made, is the ears, listening skills developed first. So, and, and we all know that Quran has reached to us by listening. The prophet listened from the angel and the companions of the prophet listened from the prophet. And it has reached to us in its purest form today. So listening is extremely, extremely important, brothers and sisters. Make sure you, you listen to Quran, you listen to the audios of the lessons, uh, which will also help you to, to, uh, to remember these things. So the blind person can become a scholar, but a dumb person cannot. It means listening can help you to learn. You can listen to a radio without a picture. But watching a TV, you know, without sound becomes very irritating thing. So listening is a great gift of Allah. Listen to the Quran and listen in a little louder voice. Loud enough that you can, uh, you know, you can hear your own voice. It's very important for the, for the purpose of remembering and, uh, uh, you know, learning something. So the more... Uh, at least be loud enough that the sound comes to your, your own mind. It will keep your attention as well and it will help you to uh, 
remembering things better. So you could just do uh, listening on your way in your car while doing something else. You can listen to the Quran, the audios of the lesson or Quran and repeat them. Uh, so it, nowadays it's very easy. Even when you are practicing your tables, you can just simply record it and then listen whether you were uh, able to do them right or not. Alhamdulillah, with this, we come to the end of the day and we pray to Allah to help us recite, understand, ponder, implement, propagate, and memorize the Quran. Subhanakallah, wa bihamdika, nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka, wa natubu ilayk. Many congratulations. Today we have achieved another milestone of learning the uh, Fail Mudareh.